Our Project VA coverage began back in August after three Adams County CYS employees were charged with felony child endangerment following the death of this little girl right here. Iris Mummert was killed at the hands of her biological mother at only 15 months old. However, she was known to the child welfare system from day one after being born with drugs in her system. Tonight, CBS 21's Elise Person is looking into legislation that would look deeper into how the Commonwealth approaches these kind of situations. We want to keep families intact. Data shows in 2021, the Department of Health reported over 1,600 babies were born with neonatal abstinence syndrome, which is a withdrawal syndrome when a baby becomes dependent on drugs or alcohol during pregnancy. In the same year, over 7,000 infants across PA were referred to county child welfare agencies for concerns related to parental substance use. We're asking for a study by the Joint State Government Committee to take a look at the how the Commonwealth is dealing with you know, across all departments, the terrible problem of infants being born with substances in their bloodstream. A Senate resolution co-sponsored by Senators Judy Schwank and Junie Ward is looking to, among other things, bring more players to the field and possibly bring more assistance to child welfare. I think it would give them a clearer path as to what direction they need to take in terms of assisting that family. We're, we're sometimes operating in silos in terms of how we address the issues that families face. Kathleen Palm is the founder of the advocacy group Center for Children's Justice. She says challenges in tracking reliable data on infants born with neonatal abstinence syndrome puts a strain on child welfare. What's the driver to a child having to be removed from their family? It's parental or caregiver substance use, it's housing instability, it's neglect. So those are things that really are kind of intertwined. According to the 2023 State of Child Welfare report, parental drug abuse was the number one reason children were placed into foster care. Senate Resolution 231 calls for a study with the Secretary of the Department of Human Services, Department of Drugs and and alcohol, Department of Health, county children and youth employees, advocates, and more. One of the advocacy groups that would be participating in the study is the Center for Children's Justice. We have robust resources. We just never weave it together. We never bring the right people together. Advocates like Palm say the state needs to weave those departments and people across multiple systems together to look at the impact on infants and families across PA as a larger problem to tackle, not one just for the child welfare system. We should be casting the net as wide as possible to say we want to know about these babies. The reason right now we don't cast that net very wide is because the only place that net gets pulled in is at child welfare. And the study that resolution is looking to get done, it would bring together people from different backgrounds in an effort to tackle the issue. So the resolution was sent to committee in February, and right now there's no date for it to be voted on. So if there's a piece of the children and youth system that you think that we need to take a closer look at, call our Project PA Children in Crisis tip line. It's the number on your screen, 717-857-3613. Tom, I'll send it over to you.